Welcome back to Power Lunch. Bank stocks have been the main character of the market story this week, but our next guest says it's time to move past the financials and go broader. Is that a good or a bad thing? Let's bring in Carter Worth, founder and CEO of Worth Charting. I don't even know where to begin, Carter. I mean, where do you want to start? Energy, the S&P, gold, yeah. copper, good, you name good, it. Gr good grief is, is the expression that comes to mind. I mean, the thing about the bank stocks, and obviously it's important because we're having a, a, a bit of a, a crisis of sorts and liquidity and uh, leverage and uh, borrowed money and mistaking one side of the ledger with the other is always a problem. But the bank stocks have been chronic underperformers. I mean, if you look at any long-term relative charts, the, the BKX index itself is basically at its 09 lows. Or let's consider the Valley National. You know, Valley National, what we just heard from, right, is $9.60. It was $9.60 25 years ago. Meaning you're talking about a stock that adjusted for inflation has lost 70, 80% of its value. Um, over time, these have not been great investments. The Morgan Stanley, the first one on your screen, you know, that's the same price right now as it was in the year 2000. No. So adjusted for inflation, it's down 45%. Um, not great investments. Wow. And Citigroup, obviously, 44 means it was 450, you know, from back in the pre-split days. So then where do people well, go? I mean, it's ever thus. So the, the question, of course, is, is this the kind of environment that attracts capital to the equity market? Because in order for stocks to go up and then an, a group of stocks, the market go up, you need money coming in. You need more buyers than sellers. This is elemental. And this kind of disruption and dislocation, this is not what makes people want to embrace, to engage, to play the game. It's the opposite. It makes people want to pull back, to take measures, to de-risk. And here we have essentially the market, which is back to unchanged on the year. So it's now unchanged over three months, but it's also over six months. It's unchanged over 12 months. It's unchanged over 24 months. The equity complex, as measured by the Russell 3000 and S&P 500, is basically two years plus with no gains. Is it going to really take off from here? Absolutely not. I'm in the camp that it's sideways to down, captures 95% of the odds. Right, and that's exactly what you've been warning but it, about. But it, 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 the, what you just pointed out it comes as a surprise to me because, golly, it feels worse than that. Doesn't it? Yeah. I, 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 well, at the individual stock level, obviously, there, there's catastrophes going on. Um, and it's, it's, it's the interplay between, you know, energy at one point is very strong, uh, offsetting losses in, in big tech. And now, of course, Apple and Microsoft are holding up quite well day to day, hour to hour relative to the market. So uh, it's ever thus. But the market is essentially unch. And unch is a tough thing to deal with because in many ways, it, it's even better to have a loser. We know what to do when we're right. wrong. You right. Get out. Yeah. Or a winner. Ride it or take some gains. When it's just churning and churning, very hard to cope with. Lunch on power lunch. Uh, now, let's say I own, very quickly, let's say I own some of these bank stocks. Uh, you call them a pair of twos, a pair of deuces. What do I do with them? Bold? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I would go higher up in the quality scale. I mean, this is where certainly leaders will ultimately prevail. And some of the big names on the screen now, but J.P. Morgan comes to mind and Morgan Stanley. But what I was hoping to convey is that to think, and who does? I had to look it up, that Morgan Stanley is unchanged since 2000. That's 22 years, which is to say it's down 45 percent adjusted for inflation. Those are shocking numbers you can't even get your mind around.